can't, it's me, it's, it's, uh, Patrick, I mean, sorry, I almost said your name, so, bro. And it's cool, bro. Yeah, it's me, fun back, and Patrick, it's like a reaction video, and you know, then this creepy pasta. Yeah, this was uploaded yesterday on Halloween. I mean, it's hard to believe that yeah, Halloween was like yesterday. I know, right? It's so hard to believe. But, mm, either way, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was okay. Alright, now back to this. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The day Jeffrey Woods and his family arrived at their new home, the sky was overcast and the weather was muggy. The gray sky seemed to punctuate his mood. Jeff was not thrilled to be here. Their new home was beautiful, though a true example of his father's newfound success. But still, it wasn't the home he'd known. A week after they'd settled in, Jeff and Lou woke up early. The sky was a crisp and gorgeous blue, and although the Louisiana heat was playing its usual cruel tricks, the brothers decided yeah, this, this, that a morning this, bike yeah, ride to yeah. explore the area would be just yeah, so the right you just heard that, yes, this is a remake of, yeah, this is, yeah, this is a remake of the origin of our, of our, of our, of our old pal, of our, of our, of our, of our old pal, Jeff. Yeah. To be honest, I kind of want to, I always wanted to see, like, something where we see, where they see, like, a giant showdown between Jeff the Kill, Jeff the Killer and Freddy Krueger. I know, that'd be so awesome. Yeah. Remember that building we'd always sneak up on top of? Well, you wanna know what it just reminds me of? Who? You know, I think it's like a ripoff of both Freddy yeah. Krueger and the Joker from Batman. Really? What do you say about that? Just think about it. Freddy Krueger. The reason why Freddy Krueger looks like the way he is because he got, because he got, because he got, because he, he got burnt to a crisp. He got burnt, burnt to a crisp. And just, and also, and also did so with Jeff. And he, and he turned his, and he turned his face into a. And he turned his face into a smile, and he turned his face into a smile that looks resembling the Joker. I know, right? And who the heck is that? I have no idea. Maybe like, maybe like, is it a, maybe it's just just before the whole incident? Yeah, that, that could be that could be the case. I don't know. Within these were a Pizza Hut, a Chinese restaurant, a tobacco store, a Sprint store, and uh, one Jeff and Pizza Lou were Hut. You know, we just had Pizza Hut a, a little store. earlier. Yeah, we'll it, it, it was delicious. We'll open up an account so we can rent movies, Lou mentioned as Jeff flipped a box over to read the description of a horror movie. Oh, Shit, yeah. You're right. Jeff snapped, feeling a bit of frustration at the thought. He knew getting his parents to actually come down here and set up a membership would take forever, since their usual after-work routine was to go off into separate rooms. Really, huh? Until they got hungry enough to come out and speak. Jeff glanced over at the girl working behind the counter. Maybe I can go over there and sweet talk her into giving us accounts? You do? Ooh, yeah, right, yeah. Jeff. One look at you and she'll probably ban us, Lee remarked back, a smile broad on his face. No, oh, you doubt me, little man. Doubt you? The guy who's kissed two girls and almost touched a boob? Never. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Just go on over and lay on all the charm. Yo, Whatever. Jeff is just... I totally could have banged wow. that girl. But her parents came home and... Yeah, last time you told me the story, you said her parents were out of town and her sister came home. Jeff became flustered. While in the process of trying oh to make yet another goodness. comeback, the girl behind oh the register God. removed all doubt by oh speaking to the boys herself. Jeff, hey. you sly, Jeff, you sly burrito, the you. Asked, the glass okay, that sounded a Jeff little and way too weird. Three boys yeah, outside definitely. Two which are riding around in circles that sounds like something I would bikes. say. I know. Uh, sorry, dude. It is fun, SpongeBob. It is fun. bikes crash into the pavement just to stand them up and ride them again. The two boys riding the bikes were both slim and build. While a heavier boy stood on the sidewalk drinking a Red Bull and watching. Must Jeff be Randy Troy Keith. Must be. Jeff couldn't hear what he said to his two friends, but he made some sort of gesture while shouting. And the other two boys dumped their bikes where they lay and walked towards the sidewalk, directly towards the two brothers. Those your bikes? One of the two boys asked Lou and Jeff, entering the summer heat. Yeah, why are you riding them? We just saw them there, man. Relax. Figured someone just left them out for us, the same boy responded as two of his friends joined him on either side. Jeff, trying to make a good start here, tried to change the course of this confrontation. Well, they're ours. We just moved here a few weeks ago. We live over on Fairmont Avenue, a few blocks from here. We were just checking out the neighborhood. Fairmont? Jeff hoped hmm. that a civil tone That's kind of weird. Around, Why? Could tell well, because the name of Jim's school is Fairmont. This was a Don't you mean our school? Because we go there, too. We gotta you, keep forgetting that. Move somewhere. What was the last thing our teacher said oh, to us yeah, before? Troy, uh, I think boy spoke. they moved into that piece of shit house. Sounds, they told us this was last. That, that was the name of our school. I don't remember what he said. Uh, yeah, well, Randy, now we know. Patrick, wake up your ears. Sleeping again? 
Jeff's uh, still trying to salvage the conversation. Yeah, that's what she said before she chose okay, so your Troy and your Randy. Oh, yeah. I'm Jeff. This is my brother, Lou. We just moved here from New Orleans. You ain't in New Orleans now, the third boy, who just now decided to speak remarks. That's Keith. Yeah. And who the fuck said you can call us by our names? Randy asked. That insolent, privileged smile never leaving his face. Jeff smiled and responded to Randy. Well, I guess I, I could have called you a fucking asshole, but I figured that I would give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Her rage replaced the smirk that had rested on Randy's face throughout the entire exchange. The two boys, Troy, and the still unknown third member of his band seemed to be momentarily struck in silence. Perhaps they weren't used to being stood up to. You think? Oh, sorry. Was that language too adult for you? Jeff asked. You, quiet boy. We know this isn't New Orleans, Jeff stated to the slim kid that reminded him of his geographical location. Because if this were New Orleans, you three would have already gotten your asses kicked for touching someone else's shit. Savage! Oh my god! However, Randy, clearly the leader, seemed to know what to say. Keith, you gonna let that little bitch talk to you like that? Oh, 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 oh my god, the savagery in this video! You yeah, don't know! Concern suddenly invaded his mind. If he and Lou got into a fight in their first week in this new neighborhood, their parents would freak. Of course they would. What do you? Now. What else would well, you think they'd do? Hug them and thank them for, for, for freaking the out? I know. There was a peace that had fallen over the family, and Jeff, fighting his urges, decided to do his best to keep it. Jeff looked over the three, very well dressed, very privileged-looking suburban kids before him, and dismissed them. You guys are boring. Come on, Lou. Let them continue their play dates without us. Lou laughed at that and followed behind his brother towards the bikes. Mm. However, Randy and his little gang of would-be toughs would have none of that. They moved to block Jeff and his brother once again. Where are you going, pussy? Randy asked. Oh, Jeff. Ho, ho. Jeff could tell that shove had no. This just got real. You are definitely to him out, seeing where his buttons were. He pushed harder eventually, but Jeff swallowed the slowly building anger within him once again. Lou took a bit more exception to the shove. We're going to your mom's house. Me and my brother saved up a couple of dollars from doing chores, and we hear she doesn't charge much. Oh my god. Randy appeared I know I already said this, but man, the, I know I already said this, but man, the savagery. I know. His father was a partner at a local firm that made a lot of money, something else that Jeff would soon come to learn. Randy yeah. and his friends, while the same age as Jeff, had grown up in very different circumstances. They were used to being listened to. They were used to being feared. In fact, Randy, the target of insult, just stood there. It was actually Troy, the fat kid, who stepped forward, fist balled, eyes squinted in anger. Who are you talking to? Troy shouted and took a wild swing at Lou. Lou, who was both in better oh. shape and had sparred with Jeff a time or two during his time spent boxing, was able to avoid the punch, but just barely. Had that been all, it may have once again ended there. Troy was clearly taken by surprise at Lou's speed and actually didn't attempt another punch. However, these were bullies. Kids that ran in a pack for a reason. The skinny one, Keith, stepped around and threw a punch that connected with the left side of Lou's face. Oh. Jeff had seen enough. Mm. He'd been shocked at how quickly this evolved into blows, even though he'd expected it from almost the start. When he first met Randy and his friends, he'd been curious. From there, he'd developed an annoyance with them, and slowly, that annoyance had evolved into anger. However, upon seeing Lou punched, seeing the small trickle of blood form on his brother's lower lip, upon seeing the smug look of satisfaction on Keith's face, that anger that Jeff felt suddenly exploded into a rage that he'd never felt before. Jeff Woods did not hesitate. He stepped forward. His feet automatically falling into the correct stance that he'd learned from boxing classes that his father had enrolled him in, and delivered a powerful right hand to Keith's face. The skinny oh. boy had no time to register shock or pain. The punch caught him by surprise, and his knees buckled. Keith went down to the ground in a heap of confusion and dawning fear. Randy, the so-called leader here, was almost too shocked to move. He had quite a lot of experience starting fights, but no real time logged in losing them. He never felt control of a situation slip. He was used to being in charge, so now, seeing one of his friends go down so quickly and easily left him in a state of shock that he had no idea how to address. Troy, on the other hand, seemed to have a plan. Throw another punch. He moved towards Jeff to send yeah, him faster than his I know, to right? Out, and threw two equally fast punches. Jeff, however, had no problem sidestepping both attempts. 
Troy seemed lost for action, actually dropped his arms as if to say, Jeez, what do I do now? Jeff had the answer. He moved in, throwing three hooks to Troy's stomach. The hefty kid's eyes went as wide as pie pans, a fitting analogy, Jeff thought. He staggered back, clutching his throbbing stomach. Jeff wasted no time and stepped in once more, fetching a sharp punch to the big kid's jaw, causing Troy to promptly fall on his ass. Jeff was reminded of King Hippo from the punch-out game that he used to play. He couldn't help but punch smile. Punch-out closer. Jeff now turned his focus Did you notice that Mario made a reference in there? Yeah, yeah, I did. Something new form inside of him. Yeah. <sighs> Mario. The antics of these three man, what, what, man, what, anything I would... Anything I would do would just sit and play some Super Mario World with, he, with my bro. I'm the bro, aren't I? Of course you are. Thanks. It's also a sweet and enjoyable pleasure. Not only was he kicking their asses, but he was loving every second of it. It was as though the joy of showing them up was perfectly blending with the rage he felt towards them. Together, it formed into a sadistic, controlled sense of power. That was until Lou stepped in front of him. Jeff, stop! That's enough! Why? Why stop now, Lou? What did he come I with? wanted this. I no idea. Jeff replied in a flat voice that Lou had never heard come from his brother's mouth. She's calling the cops! Look! Oh no. Again. Yeah, and this oh time, no. Jeff came back to reality long enough to listen. He glanced over at the video store clerk and saw her on the phone talking frantically and pointing towards the parking lot. Suddenly, Jeff's strange, sadistic haze collapsed and he regained his former self. Fuck, let's go. He said he quickly. Yeah, you better run. You are in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, you better fucking run. And he called behind him. Hey, Blue hey, and hey, where is Tomas Lawn? Calm down, Patrick. Down the street, you don't want to end up like Jeff. And began to walk before, them together. You? At yeah, first, right. neither brother spoke. Then Lou broke the silence. Jeff. Thank you for standing up for me back there. Yeah, those guys were pieces of shit. They had it coming. Jeff replied, looking down at the street as they walked. They did. Yeah. What? What happened? i never seen you like that before. Just defending myself, Lou. What was I supposed to do? Let them beat you up? I bet they go to our school. I bet we'll see them there. And they won't forget this. Who cares? We didn't ask to move here. We didn't ask for any of this. Mom and Dad just wanted a bigger house in a nicer neighborhood. And we're along for the ride, whether we like it or not. Think they give a shit what these rich asshole kids think of us? Jeff stated. He went back to looking at his feet. Think we'll get in trouble? Yeah, for what? Defending ourselves? Yeah, yeah actually. Like, they did start it. I have to agree with... And yeah, they the did. The matter was closed. However, things were far from over. Alright, sorry, but we're gonna have to leave it as a cliffhanger there. I'm sorry about that, everyone, but it's just best to leave it as a cliffhanger. I understand you're not gonna like that, but eh, don't worry. We, we will post another video to this very soon. Yeah, I thought this was the best thing we could do since there was no Let's Play video today. Yeah, really sorry about that. Anyway, so yeah, I think I think this might... I, anyway, with the schedule of videos, I think this might be... I think the reactions might be on another day of the week, like, instead of just Tuesday. Yeah, who knows? Or maybe it'll just be on, on a day when we don't do what we usually do on that day. Maybe, but we'll figure that out. Yeah, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, as always. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye! And...